Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Attempster. Today I'm going to be going over how to properly set up lens flares in the Blender Game Engine. So right here you can see I'm using a simple lens flare on a plane and I'm using a halo face orientation. So it's always looking towards the camera. However, the problem with that is, as you can see here, if I press P, it sort of cuts into the wall. And then once you get to really bad angles like this, it's very obvious. So in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to add lens flares like these, which don't cut into the walls and can be viewed from nearly any angle. So go ahead and open up Blender if you don't already have it open, or open up a new Blend file. Then up the top here, Blender Game Engine, GeoSL, Animation Frame Rate 060. Then what we're going to do is press X and Delete, and then we're going to press Shift A, add ourselves a plane, then RX90, and this here is going to be our wall. So actually we don't need a texture, we can just leave it blank. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and add the lens flare. So this here is actually going to be a cone. So go ahead and add a cone and set the vertices down to something like 8. And then we're going to hit smooth. So then what you want to do is go over to edit mode. And then we want to go to face select and select the bottom face, X and delete faces. Then what you want to do is press A to select everything, go over here, and choose Flip Direction. The reason for this is that the backside here won't be rendered, and only the inside here will be rendered, which will be facing towards the player. Alright, so back into Object Mode, and then what we're going to do is go over here, and click New, give it a new material, make it shadeless, and here we're going to choose Add. Now with your lens flares, what you should have is a lens flare on top of a black background. So I'm going to go over to the texture tab, click new, and then from here I'm going to open up my lens flare. So now with my lens flare texture open, I want to press control and numpad 7, and this will go into the bottom view. Then I want to go down here, choose edit mode, and then press U, and we want to go to project from view bounds. Alright, and then we want to go back to object mode, then we'll go over here to texture mode so we can see what we're doing, and then now what we want to do is we want to go over to the material settings, and we want to choose halo, so it's always facing towards the player. Alright, so now if we press P, you notice it's facing towards the player but sideways, so I think it's from this direction here. So what we want to do is we want to rotate this here out here. So first of all, before you do that, let's go into edit mode and then choose vertice select, select this one, shift S and cursor to selected. Then go back into object mode and from here we want to choose origin to 3D cursor. Then we're going to go over here and go to edit mode. Then I'm going to press A to deselect, A to select everything, and then down here we want to choose 3D cursor, so it rotates around the 3D cursor. Then we want to press R, Y, and minus 90. Then go back into object mode, and so now if we press P, there we go, we have our lens flare. You'll notice it is on the side, so to fix that you can either change the UVs, or you can just quickly go into edit mode, press R, X, 90, and then go back into object mode, and it should be fixed. Right, so now what we can do is press Shift A, add ourselves an icosphere, this here can be my light source. Uh, let's go ahead and change this back to median. And we're going to put it there. I'm going to give it a quick material, so just shadeless. And then what we're going to do is, with this selected here, we basically just want to move it over there. You can rotate it if you want. Uh, it won't affect the end result once you press P. It will always be the same. Now the cool thing about this technique is if you get really close to the wall like here and you press P, it still doesn't clip. You have to be literally in the wall before it will start clipping off the texture. So again, that's one cool technique and definitely a lot more usable than the plane method. Now for tweaking the lens flare, what you can do is select this outer ring here and then just scale it up and down. Now if you do scale it up, then it will make the lens flare larger, but you'll notice on the left there it cuts into the wall as well. So there we go guys, that's the end of this tutorial, hopefully you found it useful, if you did feel free to leave a like, comment or share down below if you enjoy these sort of shorter tutorials, uh, but apart from that, hope you enjoyed it, have an awesome week, and I'll see you guys in the next one.